Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions, right? So first of all here, we need an AWS account, right? So as you can see here, this is my AWS account. And as you can see, now this is the AWS S3 page. You can see Amazon S3, storage and retrieve any amount of data from here, right? So here we need to create a bucket first, right? So let's create bucket. So I'm going to click on create bucket. So here we are going to learn how to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions, right? So first of all, I'm going to create a bucket. So as you can see, when we click on create bucket, so as you can see the page, so here, first of all, we need to choose our region. So my region is AP South 1, right? Okay. After that, we need to enter a bucket name. Here, if I enter sample, so as you can see, they give us error. So now keep as it is and click on create bucket. So as you can see, there is an error here in name. So here you can see, there is a error bucket with the same name is already exists. So we need to, we need to enter unique name. Okay. Because here, this is bucket name is global, right? You can see there is no any choose our um, region because it's a global. Okay. So in sample name, there is, a, uh, there is a already exist, right? So we need to enter any unique name. So I'm going to enter my bucket name will be my bucket name will be bucket list bucket list and I'm going to enter 2024. So keep as it is and click on create bucket. So as you can see it's creating right. That means our bucket name is unique. Okay, so as you can see, our bucket successfully created. You can see bucket list 2024 with the name and the AWS region, access and creation date and time. Okay, now it's inside our bucket. So I'm going to click on my bucket. So as you can see, as of now, there is no any data, right? You can see here, there is no any object, right? You don't have any objects in this bucket. So now here we are going to learn how to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions. That means we are going to learn how to upload any files using GitHub Actions in our AWS S3. Means we are going to we are going to run workflow. And when we when our workflow successfully run, then our uh, files successfully pushed into this bucket. Okay, successfully push. So let's start. So first of all, here we need a GitHub Action repository, right? So I'm going to my GitHub Action repo. So here, first of all, we need to create a repo. So I'm going to create my repo name here. How to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions. So this is my workflow name. So I'm going to enter name. And choose public or private. So I'm going to choose private. Add a readme file. And then click on create repository. Okay, so as you can see, our repo successfully created with the name how to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions. Now we have only one file with the name readme.md. Okay, so now first of all here we need to push some files here. Okay, which files? So here we need to push package.json and server.js file. Okay, so I'm going to upload my files here. So click on upload and click on choose your files. So I'm going to choose my files. Here I'm going to choose this package.json and server.js file. Then click on commit changes. So wait a second.
rhodochias and pachydrochiasis okay now it successfully upload now click on commit changes okay so now as you can see here we have successfully upload two files first package.json and the, another one is server.js file now if i click on package.json file so as you can see the data script clean and so on right and if I go to the server.js file, so as you can see, it's in the printing, hello world, and so on. Okay. That's our regular server.js file. Okay. So we have successfully pushed, we have successfully uploaded two files, package.json file and server.js file. Okay. Now, the next step is here to push our files into this bucket. So here we need to create workflow. Okay, so before creating workflow, here, this is my workflow. So first of all, before creating workflow, let's understand the workflow first. Okay, so here in this workflow, first of all, name. So here I am going to enter a name, upload website, then push my branch name is main, then runs on Ubuntu, my operating system. Then here I'm going to use this, checkout version one repository then configure after that here we, how to configure so here we need to enter a secret aws access key as well as aws secret access key ID. then enter your region name okay and then after that deploy static site then here we need to enter our here we need to enter our bucket name so my bucket name is here this is my bucket name, right? So I'm going to copy my bucket name. And we need to enter a bucket name here. Okay. And after that here, we need to enter your, our region. So my region name is AP South 1. F1 1. This is my region name. So after that, before creating our workflow, we need to Add our access key ID as well as secret access key ID. Okay. Let's add a secret. So go to the uh, workflow, sorry, repository. Click on settings. Let's create a secret. Click on secret and variable actions. And click on new repository secret. So first of all, my repository secret name is AWS access key ID. So I'm going to open my access key Okay. So here is my access key ID. So I'm going to copy my access key ID and paste in secret. Now click on add secret. Then another secret name is AWS secret access key ID. Sorry, AWS secret access key. Now click on add secret. Okay, so we have successfully added two secrets here. AWS access key ID as well as AWS secret access key. Now click on code. Now it's time to create our workflow. So how to create? So click on add files, create new file. So first of all, our workflow folder is .github, right? Then slash workflows. Then our file name. So my file name will be main.yaml file. And here we need to enter our workflow. So this is my workflow, right? So I'm going to copy my workflow. Okay. 
So as you can see here, our ad, we have successfully added our secret access key ID or access key ID, then our region name, and this is our bucket name, right? Okay. Now after that, check for once here. As of now, there is no any files, right? If I click on refresh my page. So as you can see, there is no any files as of now, right? Okay. So let's commit changes. Click on action and let's check our workflow. So is in queue now. So wait a second. So as you can see, it's configured. Now it is deploy static site to S3 bucket. Okay, it's done. So as you can see, succeed in 21 seconds, in 11 seconds, right? So we have successfully run our workflow. Now go to the bucket and now click on Okay, now refresh the page. Now, as you can see the files, first of all, .git, then GitHub, then package.json, readme.md, and server.js, like that we have files here that means our repository files right workflows then readme.dmd file package.json file and server.js file that's git file is by default so as you can see our files and the last modified date and the storage class standard and the size as you can see so as you can see we are successfully pushed this file into our bucket using workflow right so that's it. So in this session, we have learned how to upload AWS S3 using GitHub Actions. So thank you for watching and I hope you understand.